Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I was thinking about doing Lost Runs, but I actually, as much as this is shitty to say, I actually don't have time because the NLSS is starting relatively soon, and I know that a Lost Run uh, against Hush, you know, you require, I think, at least to facilitate it as easily as possible, you require Nod Leaf and then something that does passive damage, and you just wait for the fight to end, which, when I did it on Kate's stream, took like... The fight itself <clears throat> took like an hour, and the uh, the run itself took like an hour and 40 minutes, so we'll ignore that for now. We I, I'm not like super pressed for time, we don't need to do an Azazel run, especially since he's been nerfed. But you know what? Maybe we'll check it out because, yeah, we'll check out Samson. We'll play Samson, hard mode, dark room, uh, try to beat Hush if possible. I think this is sensible, and here's our seed for today. BV3FVM02, we're fresh off of... Uh, the November 16th, 2015, just in case you forgot what year it was, uh, daily. I had a great time, ranked well, it, it might be my best daily ranking ever, actually. I mean, like, the, the leaderboard positions will not be finalized, obviously, yet, but I mean, like, 190th, that's pretty good for me. I'm feeling like we played relatively well and, um, you know, made some good decisions, so I'm feeling like I'm, I'm focused. And also, I'm warmed up because that was a darkroom run, and uh, we're going for the darkroom on this one as well. Obviously, I would like to, if possible, grab a couple of bombs so we could actually access these tinted rocks. If we don't get them, life goes on. I'd say, as Samson, probably the most important thing for us, if we could swing it, is actually picking up um, enough money to get an arcade on the next floor. But you're kind of at the, the mercy of the game from that perspective, right? Five cents. We'll shoot all the fires, we'll shoot all the poops, we'll blow up all these rocks and maybe get lucky enough to get a crawl space, but uh, can always go wrong. I've started, like, trying to walk these guys into the fire a lot more often. We had that, I think it was on the daily today. We, uh, had, like, a bunch of corn flies. The yellow flies. Bumblebees, whatever you want to call them. Ooh, that might be enough money now. And we just walked them all into the fire, and it, it just made the fight substantially easier. It was a great time. Could move that TNT. I don't think that's strictly necessary. And we get Sad Onion, which I think is just a, an amazing item. Almost walked into that fire. Maybe I, like, subconsciously was like, we need more damage. We need that damage bonus. Or maybe I was like, you've been a bad boy, Samson. You know what bad boys get? Bad boys get punished. They walk into the fire. No, please! This is not sexual. It just hurts a lot. It's fire. It's burning my, sk my skin and my cells. I don't know. They turned horrifying very quickly. It was like a... It's like an I know what you did last summer kind of thing or something. Um, which I've never seen. But I have to imagine the answer, the, the question of the film's title within the course of the movie. And I'm thinking probably swimming. That's a summer activity. Uh, we'll blow up this. And we got a spirit heart. Honestly, I'd consider that probably a below average haul. But it's okay. We have one spirit heart and we have over five cents. Which is really the uh, the big thing for us right now. So my new strategy for fighting Little Horn is hope that he's like he spawns near where he put a bomb down, and if that happens, you win the fight because one bomb is basically enough to knock out you know two thirds of his HP. So the the extra damage bonus from Bloody Lust is working out nicely for us, but the big draw right here is. Uh, the bombs, but barring any bombs, I'm just gonna be stoked that we got Sad Onion because we're putting in a, a lot of DPS right now. He's dead. We got a speed upgrade, which I think is totally fine, and we'll head down to the next floor, hoping against Hope for a Blood Bank, which will at the very least make us very strong and very rich on this floor. Ah, we do have an arcade. Exactly what we wanted slash needed. And we'll pick up one penny and come in here. Good, we even get an extra play out of it because of that. We're gonna take ourselves down to, uh... I'll go down to half of a red heart. I think we can justify it because... Oh, that's also great. Uh, I think we can justify it because, uh... We're on, uh... Basement. And out of all the variations we could possibly have, this is obviously gonna be the easiest. And we got some more red hearts back there, which gives us more plays to try to get the IV bag, which is really our, our principal focus here. It's so much more valuable than almost anything else we could even hope to get on this floor. We got perks, which gives us half damage for this room. Which, honestly, now you can see that we have very few items and we've, we've taken perks. We get that blue aura around us, which seems to be uh, indicative of taking half damage for this room. Having the wafer or the cancer effect uh, activated. So it's, it's nice to be able to see that a little bit more clearly there. 
uh, to, to kind of suss out what you're actually doing with that pill. Even if we don't get IV bag, which we admittedly may not. I think the odds are about, like, slightly less than 50-50 because we, uh... I mean, there's, like, a 50% chance if we get a payout that it'll be blood bag, roughly 50% maybe. And then there's a 50% chance that it'll be IV bag. There's also a reasonably good chance we won't get either, right? By the way, I know people are gonna be like, well, you should've taken Isaac's heart because Isaac's heart makes you immune for, uh, blood banks. It's not worth the cost, man. I'll, I'll spend 15 cents here, I don't care. It's not a daily challenge. Pokeball. I know that's not how it, that's pronounced. But uh, that's that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. And we're gonna move on. And if I if I get no item, I will be happy to have rerolled. I know the Pokeball, it can be okay. You can get some cool items, cool synergies with it. You can capture some enemies that are that are real fun. I kind of dislike it because you can use it so infrequently. Not sure if that puts me in the majority or the minority. But, uh, oh, oh, that was, like, real dangerous. Okay, we don't have a streak to protect, so just take a take deep breath, relax. Ooh, we're fine. I walked... I thought that was my own fire. And now I'm thinking back, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm an idiot. FGZCHPX2. I, I am actually, like... I feel the the cold sting of embarrassment deep in my gut right now. You know when you accidentally call your teacher mom or something, and then you're like, oh, that's gonna haunt me forever. Yeah, that's, um, that's what I'm feeling right now. From walking into the fire for no reason would be perhaps the way that I would describe that uh, after the fact. Um, so I'm not feeling too smart right now. On the bright side, we died in what, like less than five minutes, so we can definitely fit in another run very easily today. Uh, my apologies, that was really poor. Now when I said that we don't have a streak to protect, so let's just not worry about this too much, what I did not imply, or mean to imply by that is, let's kill ourselves and start over. I was actually very happy with that run, the way it was going, um, because of the, the potentiality of getting a, a payout there from our blood bank. But, uh, shit happens, life goes on. Somehow we have not been hit here yet. So I guess we should not step into this fire. How that worked out for me, I'll never know, but uh... Did, oh, did get another uh, spirit heart there, and this golden heart is great for money, but unfortunately it doesn't actually give us uh, any HP protection, so... We're just gonna say, when we get hit, we'll be happy that we have the golden heart, but we're not gonna cause ourselves to get hit. The only thing that worries me is maybe getting hit, uh, or not getting hit on this floor might mean we lose the golden heart for the next floor. I hope that's not the case, but it could be. I would also say probably pretty unlikely to have more than five cents by the end of this floor. Uh, it's a tight fight, no question. Trying to get him to... Oh, there we go. Oh, you know what? Maybe we will be able to get five cents by the end of this floor. Um, trying to bait him into doing some attacks that are easier for me to hit him with the TNT, but uh, I, I took some very dumb damage there, and against Blue Famine, I've lost all my Spirit Heart protection for the next floor. It has me feeling pretty silly. Ball of Bandage is an acceptable item, and, uh, you know what, here's what I think we'll do. We'll come in here, and we'll say, uh, thank you for offering me this, uh, wonderful bounty, but I am instead going to blow you up to try to facilitate a great Samson run here. We got eight cents, so we'll buy a Spirit Heart, which is actually great, and then we'll head down to the next floor, maybe get a second secret room as well. And inside of our second secret room, we get a lot of runes. Truth be told, probably my favorite secret room. Just because there's so many potential uh, awesome outcomes from it. This one is not really one of them. We're going to take uh, the Algae's rune. Normally, you know, you, what you want is like four runes that are useful right away and then one you want to save. Instead, we got like a few Hagalaz runes where I'm like, ah, there's value, but not that much. Like, they're not likely to be that good for us. And then, um, you know, a bunch of Anzus runes. And it was basically, it came down to being a decision between like, Anzus and um, Algiz, and I was like, well, Algiz I think gives us a little bit more. Anzus is great, gives us the ability to find our secret rooms, of course, but um, in the early game, I'll be more stoked to take uh, an Algiz rune, I think. I'm pretty lucky to have not been hit again there, I think. Uh, I, I walked myself into a bad situation. 
So the question here is, do we use our Algiz rune for the purpose that I originally thought of, which is um, playing this Blood Bank, or do we play the Blood Bank and then try to save Algiz rune for later, because we might not need to use it? This is so fucked up, by the way, because I really want to get into that arcade without um, picking up those red hearts. So I think I have to spend a bomb to push them out of the way. As ridiculous as that sounds. So we pick up a lot of money. Which is great, don't get me wrong. Then we'll come in here, we picked up these red hearts. Why don't we go down to like, one and a half. So we'll play it, oh, okay, there we go. So we keep our Algiz rune. That's fine, by the way. It's not, uh, it's not what I wanted for the situation, but it's fine. We got a nice damage bonus on this floor. We got an HP upgrade. We won't be able to, um, to get Blood Bag, but maybe we'll get uh, enough money to, to spawn an arcade on a future floor as a result of the amount of money that we gained there. And we still have our Algiz rune, which I think is um, valuable for maybe the exact same purpose a little later. So we, we don't have any keys, so I was hoping that would facilitate a key there. We may be unable to go to, I'm just gonna use Algiz right away. Um, we may be unable to go to our uh, our item room on this floor. Torn photo's great though, and um, you know what? I think black powder is worth taking. Sister Maggie, I don't. It's definitely worth taking for precedent at least. Uh, and I guess we just leave like, with 19 cents, the only other thing we can do is gamble and try to get a, a key so we can get into our uh, item room and shop. Which could happen, admittedly, but uh, it slows us down a little bit. Just gotta remind myself, because I got a little distracted from the start of this video. We're going to the dark room. This is a dark room run. It's not dark wing duck, it's a dark room run. Okay, we're gonna... I guess we're gonna tap ourselves out here trying to make this work. Uh, so far, so terribly. Like, this is not working out well at all. We're spending like 16 cents on nothing for the hopes of getting a single key. Well, we did get a spirit heart out of it. Here's our chance. Oh, that was really disappointing. One more chance. Oh, how could you? Okay, well, we... I do I, I don't know if we necessarily say we did our best, but... What we could have done instead is bombed our way into the secret room and maybe tried to make something happen there. Like we can get keys on our secret room with the key beggar secret room or we can get a second bomb, maybe bomb our way into it. I don't know, but we tried at least. I think that's clear. Catacombs 1, Curse of Darkness and um, a good run so far. Black Powder is one of those things that, you know, as time goes on, I, I probably end up using it accidentally more than I use it on purpose, but, you know, if you can just take a couple of seconds to facilitate uh, a circle, it can save you a lot of time. So let's um, try to... <laughs> probably should just be shooting at them here, but I'm like trying to take shortcuts to get our circle done in time. Oh, that one didn't count. It was a little oblong, a little ovoid, but still. Ovoid, oh also my favorite uh, Korean movie. There's a key, finally. Two rooms after we left our last floor. Eight Inch Nails. This is a great uh, item name. We got a rune, we got a new tier effect, and we got Hagalaz. What am I gonna do with Hagalaz? That's a great question. Here's what I'm gonna do. That, it worked! I was like, I'm gonna blow up the mushrooms and hopefully we'll get some poison damage done. I can't believe that actually ended up being the way it went down. That's really good. Alright. We're almost done with the frail, honestly. Watch out for the brimstone attack. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Um, let's explore here. Josh just tweeted me. He's on the NLSS today, so I gotta see what his tweet says. Um, paging NL. Okay. That is because someone on Twitter cooked a steak by... Boiling it in in coca-cola. I know that sounds gross, but I actually uh, I've never done it, but I have cooked uh, you know the marinated steak in beer sometimes uh, I Can't believe we got out of that without getting hit also two guppy items pretty dope, but um It's it's the principle of it being like uh, You know acidic, but also there's sugars in it um, that would uh, Allow you to, to get a nice little crust going on on the outside. But I gotta admit that to my perhaps naive taste buds, uh, cooking a steak in in Coca-Cola sounds like it would be kind of sickly sweet. 
Everybody's got their own uh, stake methods to which they're very attached, though. And you know what? If you're into it, you're into it, man. That's that's all I'll say about that. If you find it tasty, I'm not going to look at it and say, unless you're Josh, I'm not going to look at it and say, you know, fuck you, you're wrong. I trust your taste buds. There's one thing human beings are good at. It's identifying what food tastes uh, delicious. Although I will say there's a, there's a South Korean... I don't want to call it a delicacy, because the delicacy is just a polite way of saying... This is a shitty food that other people eat and think is good, but, um... South Korean snack called bundegi. When I lived there, it was like, um... Silkworm pupa would be the way that maybe I would describe it. It's the, the pupa of the silkworms. And, uh... Basically tasted like a, like a... Dirt-wrapped shoe. Like a shoe wrapped in dirt. You did not mishear me. Um... Or, uh, sorry, like dirt wrapped in a, in a leather stinky shoe. Um... I wouldn't recommend it, personally. But maybe that's just my Western sensibilities, you know? I'll take the... I'll take the ramen. That's no problem. I thought that that would cause us to fight this room all over again. Uh, I'll, I'll take the Korean barbecue. I'll take the, uh, the odang. That's not a problem. But, uh... You can keep the silkworm pupa. Pupae. Larvals. Whatever you... They're not really larva, but anyway. Um, wow. A golden key. I guess now we probably should go to our shop, even though we're a little shy on money, and I'd like to keep enough to maybe spawn an arcade on the next floor. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think the chariot's okay. You just heard, like, an enormous swallow there. I took way too big of a mouthful of coffee. If you're not a coffee drinker, coffee's delicious, but it's not one of those liquids you want to chug. This is an adult liquid. So it's like gasoline. You don't, you don't chug coffee. Um... The idea of chugging it kind of makes me want to throw up. We're just going to head down to the next floor. Clear out my, my palate there with a little bit more coffee. Okay. This run, like, let's be honest with the way this run looks right now. It looks really OP. Um, we're one guppy item away from becoming guppy. Even if we don't get it, we've got good damage. HP is very solid. Um, blister. Some of our shots will bounce. Is this better than Mom's Locket? No, I don't think so. But it is what it is. We've got Guppy's Head, which is a great space bar item. I would love to replace it with IV Bag if we get the chance, but... If we don't, that's also fine, because we already have Guppy's uh, Head, which is a great item. What do we lack? Oh, you know what? Blister is actually just causing our shots to have huge knockback, isn't it? Not occasionally bouncing shots. Terrible damage on my part there. In that case, we will absolutely take Mom's Locket, because... It's not trash. Uh, our shop is a greed fight, which is completely fine with Ouija board. Careful. Careful! And we'll take Steam Sale. It's decent, and it's even better if our quest to get uh, IV Bag doesn't end for a little while, you know? Like, if, if we... Uh, can spend money on shops and more easily still facilitate an arcade on the depths if that's the way it ends up having to go then that's cool that that makes steam sale you know more than worth the the cost of admission which it probably already is but you know never hurts to have a little extra on top and we'll just use our chariot card there instead of on a potential blood bank cuz we don't know if a blood bank exists take blue cap become guppy and uh, we have effectively won the game uh we, we haven't been becoming Guppy. Like, if there's two things in Afterbirth that haven't been happening that much, it's becoming Guppy and uh, getting Brimstone. So, be, you know, becoming Guppy is actually really nice. <laughs> it feels like a, a bit of a change of pace. We have, uh... Is this really how this joke goes? We've got eight-inch nails uh, stuck under each of our eyelids. It's like a clandestine Eminem reference in there somewhere. Um, lucky Foot. We don't need IV Bag anymore to make this run work. What would be really nice is Hive Mind, but we'll explore anyway to see if we can get uh, an arcade. And if we can get an arcade, then I would love to still get IV Bag, because it's probably more damage than, than Guppy's Head. Because it's applied to everything, and we're, we're not going to be at a, a shortage of flies probably ever on this run now. So, uh, if, it, if it looked OP before, it definitely looks OP now. We'll try to see what's going on in here. I thought maybe we might get a double run reroll there, but... It's not necessary. Why is it a double run reroll? That's a great point. It's just a single run reroll, but you gotta admit that double run reroll rolls out the tongue a little better, right? Oh shit, you got you, you talking about a double run reroll? Ronda Rousey got a double run reroll last night. You didn't hear? It's only the third one this season. 
I don't know why. You have to, if you're gonna do that, you have to say it in the voice of uh, Murray from Flight of the Concords. Which is gonna take a second. You gotta you gotta start with like the way to make the impression work. Michael! Jermaine! Jermaine got a double run reroll last night! It's only the third one this season! It doesn't really work. Uh, I apologize. Maybe the answer is too much coffee. Maybe the answer is too little. Um, and it, I don't know what the question is, but those are the answers. Okay, we have a chest. We may do boss rush. Because we can. And because um, I wouldn't mind getting a, a free item out of it. Lots of money. Loads of money. This was our item room. And this way back here was our shop, which was greed. Okay, so we'll just head down to the next floor. We will not... Like, we're a little faster than Boss, boss Rush. Boss Rush. But we're going to be much faster than Boss Rush moving forward. Presumably, at least. Because of the fact that we have um, much higher damage than you would proportionally expect by this point in the game. Um, these enemies are the worst. Actually, zombies are a really cool enemy from like a game design standpoint. I know they're not zombies. They're knights, but you get the idea. They're zombies because they eat brains, but they have brains. So it's not it doesn't really work, but you get the idea. Um, Faded Polaroid makes us invisible sometimes, but I don't love it. Um, they're cool because they, they super counter uh, what I'm going to call from a Magic the Gathering perspective as token generators. You know, things like the Mulligan and uh, Infestation 2. Our spiders just kind of run into the front of them, or our flies run into the front of them, and then, uh, you know, get busted without actually having uh, any damage dealt as a result, and that's going to fuck up our deal with the Devil Chance, because I'm... A silly dude. Man, I'm so used to like dailies and greed mode that I'm, I'm actually not thinking too hard about uh, skipping boss rush. Which I probably should be. So let's do that. I'm not going to open that. If we can get a teleport card though, I'd be... I'd be interested. Because it really... It, you know, if we're not going to... If we're not going to get points for boss rush... You totally can stomp on those enemies. Then we might as well just get... Uh, get the item and then get out of there. But if we don't have that option, which is also plausible, we might as well, uh, we might as well give it a shot. If we can. If our HP looks like it'll hold up or we get an extra life or something. Going in the wrong direction, unfortunately. In like, I don't want to put them in order of what I need. I'm going to open this though. Oh, I think I should take it because it's fun. Um, I... From our shop, I would love to get mapping. If we don't get mapping, I'd love to get hive mind. And it doesn't really have to be in that order. I would I would be happy to take either of them. Um, I should not have opened that, but it actually ended up working out just fine for us. Um, and if we're not going to get either of those, I don't know what I would want at that point. I feel like Tammy's head nail kind of suffers from the same problem as Tammy's head mom's knife. In that the hitbox on them is so small, but you're also much more likely to uh, kill them if you hit them, I guess, because the damage is really nice. Ooh, a luck upgrade. Don't mind if I do. And more than enough keys to get into our shop. Shop contains super greed, but also a tinted rock. And a lot of money, for sure. Um, let's just blow up the tinted rock. We'll hurt ourselves to blow it up. Because we can also just pick up a red heart right after, so we'll get the... You know, whatever's left of our damage bonus from Bloody Lust before we uh, move on. Probably doesn't end up being too relevant, but it's kind of fun. You know, if, you, if you're playing as Samson, you might as well take advantage of Bloody Lust when you get the opportunity. I don't know what's going on with our shots occasionally, like, uh, making, like, that uh, kind of explosion when they hit. I don't know what causes it, but I'm for it, I suppose. It might just be the, the tear effect from Nine Inch Nails now that I look more closely at it. I don't know. Let's take Ringworm. It'll be weird. That's pretty much my my defining and driving instinct in life is to make our run as weird as possible. I was hoping I could see forever would reveal a very quick second secret room. There it is. And sure, I have to. As much as I, as Ringworm actually seemed like it make uh, made Tammy's head a lot better, I gotta go with the cancer item or the cancer trinket. Sorry, I'd take the cancer item too. It's just too good to pass up. So we will sacrifice uh, a really good chance at our deal with the devil in order to get into this room quickly. And there goes our deal with the devil. No, because we got chariot. <laughs> okay, so we'll chariot. Chaos card. 
And we can actually now, like I'm thinking now that we have the Chaos card, this is like the only situation in which I want to fight Hush. Because we can go down there, possibly get items, even though Hush's items are usually horrible. Um, we'll go check. And then if they end up being shitty or good, it doesn't matter because we'll just uh, Chaos card the shit out of him and get out of there. Still looking for a teleport card though, so we could do uh, boss rush if possible. Wow, our range on those shots was like really bad. I, I'm a little surprised that worked, to be honest with you. Um, still kind of aggressively looking for a teleport card. Goat head means I'm not as concerned about uh, the dumb damage that I've been taking so far. That's actually a, a kind of a big load off my shoulders here. Um, Golden Bombs, also good. This is pretty horrible. Blank Rune. We'll just use it. I don't even know what it did for us there. Oh, it, it Perth Road. So we got Lard, actually, and our speed is okay, so I don't mind it. Judge. Got Judgment. Probably should have played him. I was in Daily Challenge mode where I'm like, we're just going to blow him up. I don't want to spend the consumables. Golden Bombs. All right, crack into these then. Justice. Also pretty good. Uh, yeah, we don't really need that. Hive mind, hive mind. Uh, yes, humbling bundle. Jar of flies is good. I don't know if it's good enough. Joker card is a teleport card. I think we have time to donate for the first time in a long time. So let's wedge ourselves back here. Jar of flies may well be a lot better than um, than Tammy said, but we've already got a lot of fly summoning. So I'm like, ah, whatever. Now I'm realizing. Wait a minute. What do we care about having a Joker card for? Um, it's going to lose us our Chaos card, which loses us our chance at Hush. So maybe we should prioritize... Um, we do have Golden Bombs, so... We prioritize um, any other Teleport card, if possible. Come on. <laughs> like, we could always use the Joker card now. There's obviously no benefit to that either, but... I think it's actually better for us to keep the Chaos card, because we get two item rooms out of the Chaos card. Whereas with, um, that's from the Hush fight. And uh, with Joker, we just get Boss Rush, which is good, but probably not as good. So I actually, for once, I'm going to say, hey, we're not going to teleport out of Boss Rush. And instead, let's see what we've got in our Deal with the Devil. We're going to the Dark Room on this one. Deal with the Devil is a Krampus fight, which is totally fine. If Boss Rush is good enough for us to justify it on its own merits, then we'll do it. If it's not, then it's not. We are going to get a lot of Tammy's head charges on it. That's for sure. So Marked is not good enough. Uh, Taurus, probably not good enough. Glowing Hourglass, not good enough. Okay, so we're, we've justified this as, as probably not good enough. In case you're wondering about my reasoning for that. Basically, what it came down to is... When we go down to the where the hush is, in the blue womb, or whatever you'd like to call it, because it's just question mark, question mark, question mark, I think. Um, we... Ooh, rules card. Rules may yield something, something, something. Um... My bad. Uh, yeah, so when you go down to the Hush fight, you get a shop, two item rooms with a choice in each one, uh, and also just four golden chests sitting on the ground. So that's probably, at worst case scenario, that's two items. So I, uh, I weighed that against Boss Rush, which is one free item, which in this case would have been Taurus, which is a decent item if your speed's okay, which ours is, even though we took, uh, even though we took uh, Lard. So I, I'm not necessarily thinking it would have been a terrible decision to Joker card out. Because the, the crux of the whole uh, arrangement there is that the Joker card doesn't let us go back and get the Chaos card. Whereas the Chaos card lets us very easily get multiple items. This is worth it, even though it costs us a little HP. Mm. Well, we didn't get hurt on the way out then. So it's basically like a 50-50 uh, trade. Lucky me. Uh, I'm happy I cracked into this, honestly, because now we have a, a golden key, and we're getting a lot of golden chests thanks to Guppy's Tail, so come over here. Remember, this is a run where we, if possible, would like to do Mom's Hearts, then Hush, then all the way to the Dark Room. In fact, like, if we could fight Mega Satan, even better, but that's just probably unlikely for being realistic here. Um... So, we've got a, like a long-term focus here. We don't need to stack up HP for the Hush fight because of the Chaos card, assuming that we don't miss. If we miss, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real unhappy with myself. Let's put it that way. Uh, and we could miss. We probably won't, but it is a possibility. 
This is almost certainly our secret room, but at this point, I kind of don't care. Uh, this is, like, super the wrong way. That's alright, it's not like I'm uh, hungry or anything like that. If we could just uh, get uh, the heck out of here, please. No, like I want to eat a uh, pastrami sandwich before the NLSS or anything like that. No, no such, uh, what's pastrami? Actually, that's, I was late, you know, there was a formative moment in my culinary life when I realized that pea meal bacon, which is, I guess, like a Canada, like a regional cuisine here. It's it's just uh, like cured back bacon wrapped in yellow peas that have been ground up. So it gives it like a crunchy exterior. It sounds weird, but it, it does not taste weird at all. It's like having like a little bit of flour on your on your bread, right? You know, it's a little adds a little bit of a textural quality to it. Nobody puts flour on their bread. I'm talking about like just it being dusted on the crust or something like that. Um, but it was a formative moment in my in my culinary life when I realized that pea meal bacon is described or named literally for what it is. Is corned beef in the same camp? What I'm I guess what I'm getting at is what the fuck is corned beef? Is beef that has been corned? What does this mean? Does it mean it's been wrapped in corn like pea meal bacon, or does it mean it's been um? There's a corning process that I'm not familiar with, I guess? I don't know. I'm, I'm very confused by the whole, uh, the whole concept of it. Golden keys still paying dividends. I don't know why that was like a song. Golden keys still paying dividends. The golden keys still helping out. Golden keys, here's where the resolution goes. Dum dum dum, something like that. Work it out in your own time. I can't believe this is only one floor, but we will get a deal with the devil, obviously, and we'll get one on our next floor as well. And you are dead. We get the coat hanger, which is good enough. And our deal with the devil, holy shit, it actually has brimstone. I have to, because we get it so rarely. And I think I have to take succubus as well, or incubus as well, just to get double brimstone. Rest assured, I recognize the danger inherent in this run now. We, we will not have much HP. We have one HP. Oh my fuck. That was so stupid. But, we now have double Tammy's head brimstone. So all we need is like a spirit heart to show up anywhere. And we're fine. I can't help but notice that these are not spirit hearts. This is like the ultimate glass cannon situation now. I really, really would have liked any of those to be balls of steel. Um, can we still win this run? Yeah, absolutely. Just gotta worry about enemies that shoot us right when we enter the room. Enemies with beams, uh, things that explode, and you know, if you just get around them, which represents like 99%, <laughs> oh fuck, <laughs> like 99% of the items in the game, then you're good to go. We need a spirit heart, also. Like, that'd be, that'd be real dope. Uh, maybe in here? Judgment? No judgment. No judgment. I still have hope. <laughs> this is my obligatory time to mention, by the way. If the unthinkable happens on this run... Oh, an eternal heart might buy us one more hit. Um, keep in mind, we're gonna be playing Afterbirth for a long, long time. Just because we f oh, a spirit heart as well. If we fuck up this run, that's not the end of the world. But it's looking increasingly like we won't. Um, because we're going to be playing Afterbirth forever, man. So it doesn't really matter if we fuck this one up. We can do another Samson run at any given time. Right now, as much as I hate the toot my own horn, it really looks like this, uh, you know, Incubus Brimstone pickup was the right idea. Because Tammy's head Brimstone is just so stupid strong that... Not even having, like, literally zero hits to take can fuck with you. Not even Bob's brain can fuck with you, apparently. Let's make the exact same mistake again. Oh, Judas' is shadow, so let's let's kill ourselves so, again, we don't get the, um, the benefit on the post-it note. No, let's try not to kill ourselves, but at least we know that if we mess it up, um, we, we probably won't lose the run. There's still the value in the run. Wheel of Fortune, we'll just blow that up. Probably should have played it, considering we have 99 cents. Uh, here. We. Will. Take a speed upgrade. In our shop. 
We will take Spider Mod and a Spirit Heart. In our other item room, we will take Holy Shots, which I don't even understand how they'll work with Brimstone. And then we will not fuck up our use of the Chaos card. Surprisingly little damage done there. Really? <laughs> okay, now don't fuck this up, man. Okay, we've done it. Little scary, let's admit, but there we go. Blind Rage, at least we got the, uh, the item. And then we're going down to Shoal. Okay, so at least we got the Samson payout there. And we're a little bit more alive than we were temporarily. And, you know, if we're being honest, we should be totally fucking fine, right? Like, now that we have any HP at all, uh, Tammy's head brimstone times two. I don't know if it's actually working times two, but, you know. Tammy's head brimstone, at the very least, should carry the shit out of us, right? Like, I mean, we just cleared out, like, half of this floor in, like, ten seconds at most. Spider Mod is making it very visible. We're not just, like, one-shotting enemies. Enemies are dying as soon as the Brimstone Beam touches them. It's not like it, they're sustaining life for a moment, you know, while it's happening. Um, but even there, we ran into an enemy and he couldn't even hurt us because of how quickly he died. Multi-phase enemies are going to be like our only challenge, I think. I don't need... I don't, what do I care about a curse room at this point? Just keep your HP. Don't give yourself too many opportunities to fuck it up. Where do we use Tammy's head? I, you know, probably like the second phase. I'm starting to think that the second phase of the Mega Satan fight is actually the hardest. Now, if we could lose Bob's brain, I'd be stoked. Like, just hit an enemy with it. Almost done. Pretty much done. Okay, that was a super easy floor for Shoal. Might be the fastest we've ever done Shoal without an Emperor card. Got a dark room where, you know, more spirit hearts always welcome. Yeah, that was a great little bit of damage from the game there. Uh, more spirit hearts always welcome. Um, not necessary, though. More synergies would be cool as well. Tech point five is, like, completely fine. Uh, and we found two dead ends already, which honestly is, like, cause for celebration, not complaining. The more items we can get, the better as well. Pupula duplex. Uh, yeah, I was hoping that would do something, like, make our brimstone beam just... So large as to be unavoidable. It didn't. That's okay. And this run has become basically like a foregone conclusion. You know what? If uh, throwing the, the run that we started this episode with in such a spectacular fashion is what allowed this run to exist, then I'm extremely happy we did it. Oh, you know what? I'm noticing that we don't actually have double brimstone Tammy's head. What we have is that whenever we use Tammy's head, the Incubus also shoots one brimstone laser right in front of us. Which is also very strong, but it's not as strong as, you know, two times Tammy's head because of the Incubus. Still very good, though. And we'll just, just keep steamrolling this as quickly as possible. Sure, Capricorn, why not? Forget me now, at this point. Uh, kind of funny. Maybe we'll just get as many items as we can, get the achievement, and then do the shit all over again. See if we can bug the game. Uh, does not work well. Sissy Long Legs is okay. Deck of cards gives us two of clubs. You know what? I think I'm just going to finish it with Tammy's head. Because if we use Forget Me now, we will get more items probably. But we also will lose out on the ability to have Tammy's head on our next uh, on our next floor. Which probably won't kill us. But at the same time, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to just knock this out the old-fashioned way. So that um, should be Samson's post-it note done. Except for Mega Satan. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But nah, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.